Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and this video is all about the 2006 Subaru WRX STI in Need for Speed Heat. Let's go! Alright, just real quick to talk about these build videos that I do. This is the same wrong build series. We've just been putting a different spin on it with different thumbnails and I've been doing more of a live atmosphere for the videos. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Do you like this or the old way where we do all of the testing behind the scenes and then sort of just give you the information in like more of a 10 minute video format? This video tends to go over 20 minutes and I'm just trying to figure out what you guys like the best. So let me know in the comments, do you like this format or do you like the old format that's a little bit shorter? Anyway, this video is all about this 06 STI. I've been getting a lot of requests for this particular car and there are a lot of engines to test on this car. There were 10 total engines that we tested. All right, let's go ahead and get into this track build. So the engine that you're gonna be using for this car, the fastest engine for the car, is the 3.8 liter V8. Now the close, very, very close second to this is the Forge 2.5 liter flat four. Now, if you're not just running time trials with your friends, the forged 2.5 liter flat four is really the engine that's supposed to be in the car, but it's not the fastest engine. So I would say if you like the sound of that engine, go with it. It's not gonna lose you too much time, right? It's, it's very, very close to the 3.8. That being said, the 3.8 is like this much faster, like really, really, really small amount faster, but it is faster. So that's the one that I'm gonna recommend for the video. So you got the 3.8 V8. Of course, we do Ultimate Plus Engine parts. You can put whatever parts you have is the highest tier parts you can find, and that'll be best for the car. But if you have the Ultimates, do Ultimate Plus. Uh, Ultimate Dual Turbo, as always, it's the fastest boost option in the game, and the 5x3 pound NOS. Now, as far as the suspension goes, of course, we're building this for track, so we have the track suspension, the Elite brakes, and the race tires. This car has one particular problem when you're racing, and it's that it's way too sticky. It takes a long time for you to get that rear end to slide out unless you're using your handbrake. And when you use your handbrake, it slows the car down. So what we're talking about here is the race tires are a little bit more slippery than the track tires. So we're gonna go with race tires on this build. We also want the Elite Plus clutch the Elite Plus 8-speed gearbox, that after testing has the best uh, acceleration at low, medium, and top speeds. And then the track, Super Track Differential. Now, auxiliaries, obviously, if you're racing with friends, you can go with something other than the repair kits, but I like to have the car clean every time I start. And when I'm testing engines, I don't need 15 bottles of NOS in a race. So nit nitrous refills if you're racing with your friends. And then NOS duration is what I recommend for your passive. Now, if you take a look at the stats, we've got 1.770 to 60. That's actually really, really good. Um, there's not a lot of cars that get under 1.8. So it's got decent acceleration off the line. 746 max torque. <clears throat> the Forge 2.5 liter has a lot more torque. Um, but it doesn't equate to more speed for some reason. Now the top speed 233 with this current build, uh, 1,010 potential horsepower and 984 current horsepower. To get to the top of that horsepower, you would just swap the turbo to a single. And if you really love that turbo flutter, then go with the single turbo. It's really not gonna hurt you. It may be a difference of a half a second in a race. So I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. The dual turbo is the fastest, but if you like the single, drop the single in there. And then let's go out to take a look at the live tuning. All right, so live tuning on this, like I said, this car has a problem with being sticky. It sticks to the ground really, really well, which is normally pretty good, but for the game, it's not. So actually I'm running a low downforce all the way towards low for the downforce. My steering sensitivity is always low on my track builds. I like to be able to micro adjust my steering without having the car, you know, dip to the left or to the right too hard. So minimum steering, minimum downforce, traction control off, and then also drift style, I changed to brake on this. This actually will help the car slide just a little bit easier in those turns. So this is the live tuning settings, and we've got a 8.77 quarter mile. That's it for this track build, guys. 
Let's move on to the drag build. All right, to turn this car into a drag car, we only need to make a couple of changes. If you've watched any of my other build videos, you know that I like to make the NOS a one by 15 pound tank. It's much better for drag racing. Doesn't make sense to have that little bit of lag between tanks when you're using the three by five or the five by three, I should say. Um, so we're gonna go with the one by 15 pound NOS. Suspension stays, you want a really stiff suspension for drag. And then the tires, obviously we want to switch to a drag race tire. And that's going to be the very last option, 10,000 for the drag race tires. All right, so there's a drag tires. We're gonna leave the uh, clutch the same and we're gonna leave the differential the same. But we do need to check each of the gearboxes to make sure which one is the correct gearbox for a drag race scenario. So let's take a look. Let's make sure we have all gearboxes owned. We do. Let's go outside the garage and take a look at the quarter mile real quick. All right, so in a drag race, you definitely want your downforce all the way down, which we already have. And our quarter mile is 8.67 with this eight speed transmission. So let's swap it over and let's move it over to the seven speed and just see how that affects the quarter mile. My guess is that it's going to be the same or maybe just a little more, but let's see. Nope, 8.67, exactly the same. So let's go to the five speed. All right, here we go. Or sorry, the six speed. Here we go, six speed on this one. And 8.63 on the six speed. Well, that might be our transmission, but let's go ahead and just check the five just to be sure. Five, and here we go. 8.63 so either the 5 or the 6 my recommendation is the 5 usually in a drag race scenario you want to have the least number of shifts possible with the most amount of horsepower to the wheels and that's what we're getting out of this 5 so I definitely recommend the 5 speed as the drag transmission so just to go over the build one more time for you we've got the 3.8 liter V8 engine, Ultimate Plus engine parts with the Ultimate Dual Turbo, and the 1 by 15 pound NOS. You've got track suspension, Elite brakes, and Elite drag tires. Elite Plus clutch, Super 5 speed gearbox, and the track differential. So that's it for the drag. Let's take a look at the stats. 1.630 to 60. That's insane. It's very, very good. Now here's the one thing that we do need to check and I'm going to make a pass with this build on this drag build. We need to make sure that the car front end doesn't lift up. And the reason that's important is because this is an all wheel drive car. And if the front end lifts up, the front two wheels are not touching the ground and therefore not putting any power to the pavement. All right, so here we are. Let's run this pass and see what happens. Looks like we're good, man. I don't see any type of front end lift. Usually you would get a little front end lift. It seems to uh, have an issue though, getting past about 200 and eh, 210 miles an hour. It does okay to get there, but it doesn't get past 210. So it's an okay drag car. It's not that great. The quarter mile stat is very good. So if it were running a quarter mile and not a three quarters of a mile, which is what we just ran, uh, I think it would do pretty well on a quarter mile. We'll have to check the rankings later in the video. I'll definitely put those up on screen as we finish it up. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's move on to a drift build and then we can move on to an off-road build, but first that drift build. All right, so because this is an all-wheel drive car, we need to make a couple of changes. One of those I'm just gonna swap to the five by three pound NOS because the only reason I use a one by 15 is for drag. So every other build is five by three. As far as this suspension goes for a drift build on an all wheel drive car, we actually are gonna go with a speed cross suspension. This is the same as my rear wheel drive setup, but here's a couple of changes. Drag tires are no good for an all wheel drive drift build. So I use the showcase tires. We're gonna start with those. We'll do a little bit of testing and then we'll figure out if we need to make a change. And then the last piece that we wanna change is the differential. We go with the sport drift differential. Now, don't ask me why, but the sport seems to perform better with all wheel drive cars than the pro. I don't know why, but it does. So let's give the sport drift differential a try. Let's take this thing out and see how it does. And uh, we just need to make one little change to the live tuning, and then we're good to start drifting. 
So the change I wanted to make was to move the steering sensitivity all the way towards high. That's how I love to drift and it works the best for me. It's the most responsive steering and you need that when you're drifting. So obviously downforce needs to be at a, at a low and traction control is off. Drift style, we're gonna keep at gas. We're not gonna do brake or drifting. So let's just see how this works. Oh my god, this feels really good. This feels just like the Evo. Oh, it feels good. I really like this drift build. Not gonna lie. Can maintain slides really well. 55,000, not a bad score. It's enough to get three stars, but it's not a great score. I don't think this is gonna be a good scoring drift build, but we're gonna see. Let's go to... Uh, the next one here inside the track and see what this one looks like. Alright, like I said, not a super high scoring drift build. It's only 118,000. Enough to 3 star this event. And I think you can 3 star most of the events on the map. But this is more of a stylized drift build. This is something that if you're trying to hit really small gaps or something like that, like if you just want to get close to things and uh, and just make it look nice, maybe for some clips you want to go in between stuff, you know, that's the thing that you would do with this drift build. I don't think this is a good high scoring drift build. It's definitely not something that I would recommend as a high score drift build, but I love the control you have with this. I mean, look at I can hit these gaps no problem because of all the control you have with this build. So I really like this build. I'm gonna leave it as is, and I'm gonna just accept it for what it is, and that is that it's a stylized drift build. So let's go over the build real quick one more time so you guys know what it is. 3.8 liter V8 engine, ultimate plus engine parts, ultimate dual turbo with a five by three pound NOS. Again, if you don't have any ultimate plus parts or ultimate parts, you're welcome to put any of the parts that you have unlocked on the engine. Just take the highest tier part that you possibly have and then use the dual turbo and the uh, multiple bottles of NOS tank, even though that really doesn't apply for a drift build. Anyway, moving on. The suspension is a super speed cross suspension, elite brakes, and the Showcase Elite tires with an Elite Plus clutch and the Super 5-speed gearbox. And then I go with the Sport Drift Differential. The car feels really, really fun and good to drift on this setup. So that's it. Let's move on to the last build of the video, which is our off-road build. All right, so the off-road build for this car is going to be the Rally Suspension. And we're gonna swap the tires over to the off-road tires we're going to take this thing out to HTV2 and Rumble to get our official time so we can rank this car. But aside from that, I'm switching back to the 8-speed gearbox. It performed the best on the road. I think it'll perform the best off-road. And then, of course, with our differential, we'll go to a rally differential. So that puts this car right here. This is our build. Let's go ahead and go out and test this thing out. All right, here we go. Test number one, off-road. Oh, we've got a lot of wheel spin. And because of that, I think it put us into that corner a little bit bad. But we're definitely getting it done here. All right, after one lap, it feels pretty good. Um, decently fast off-road. As long as you stay to this path, it's it's okay. I have a feeling it's going to be slower than its hatchback brother, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Final couple of turns. Let's see what we did here. What did we do? What did we do? 152.91. Actually, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, that, that actually competes for top 10, so depending on what it does at Rumble, 
we're gonna see uh, if this little Subi here, which is actually Subaru has a lot of uh, heritage in the off-road segment and the rally segment. So we're gonna see if this Subaru actually hangs with the top 10 cars on off-road. But let's see. Let's get over to Rumble. All right, here we go. Rumble test. Run number one. All right, so far so good. It feels very nimble on the dirt. Exactly what we're looking for. All right, it feels good, but I don't think it's as fast as some of the other off-road cars in the dirt. I feel like it struggles just a little bit with top speed. So we'll see, let's see how this does. Let's see what the end of time is on this. You know, one thing I'm noticing with this this car is that it's uh, it's very controllable in the dirt. It feels like it's very easy. It, it, it does what you expect it to do, which is which is always nice. 313 and change, that's a respectable time. That is a respectable time. 313.86, where does that put us? Let's see. 313.86, that is... Man, I think this is gonna be a top 10 car. Ooh, this is close. Let's rank these. Let me show you the ranks. Actually, before we do that, let's just put out this final build for everybody. Of course, 3.8 liter V8, Ultimate Plus engine parts with the Ultimate Dual Turbo, 5x3 pound NOS, Rally suspension, Elite brakes, Elite off-road tires, Elite Plus clutch, Elite Plus gearbox, and the Super Rally differential. That's our off-road build. So uh, yeah, let's get all of the ranks tallied up and we'll put them on screen here in just a second and we'll be back with a summary. All right guys, to summarize this video in this car, um, the Subaru STI is pretty slow when it comes to the track. It's not the slowest car, but it's definitely not anywhere near the top. Um, it runs a plus three minute time on Arian, and it's just not something that I would use in a competitive scene. That being said, drag racing, it's all right. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Um, drifting, it is insanely fun to drift this car. It has a great drifting feel. It's very controllable. And, uh, and I really like that. I think I will use this for if I want to do any type of like, you know, drift clips, you know, something that I'm just trying to make something stylish or awesome or something for social media. It, it's, a, it's a great drift car for that, but it doesn't score very high. So I wouldn't use it to, uh, to break records. And then lastly, off-road, it's a very capable off-road car. It's just outside the top 10. And uh, I think that that's very, very good, especially considering what type of car it is. It's a Subaru, it should be good off-road. So I'm happy with it. I'm gonna classify this car as a very good off-road car, even though it's not top 10, but it's just a little bit outside. So anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, hit me up in DMs, either on Instagram or Twitter. And uh, yeah, shout out to all the Militia subs. Thank you so much for watching another video. And if you made it this far, you're an awesome, awesome person. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Trigger out.